Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce Hunt. This is Rohit. I hope you are good and doing well. So today I'm going to show you and uh, discuss about this, you know, like new tips and tricks about the metadata. So how to download all metadata from Salesforce using VS Code and also using SFDX or backup. So based on this metadata, you can retrieve or you can deploy that metadata from one org to another org. Okay, I'm not using like package.xml okay so most of the people know about these things like package.xml have lots of metadata we can retrieve right so on that package also but uh, in this video i will show you the new tips and tricks how to retrieve all metadata from the salesforce so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my site okay so let's get started without any further delay let me open my vs code so now you can see this is my vs code and uh, this is the blank or you know like a folder this is the blank folder here and uh, i want to create one sfdx project with manifest or without manifest based on your requirement you can choose otherwise i can create here like this okay so now let me show you how to create sfdx project so if you are using windows so just you have to press ctrl c p and it's open this one and here you have to type like sfdx and create project with manifest this first option once you click on this you know once you select this command behind the scene one command sfdx command is automatic executed and it's created the project here now once you press that command sfdx create project with manifest so now you can see three options standard empty and analytics so you have to select like a standard one and here is asking like project name so you have to give the project name let's say sfdx project okay this one you can give give any name as you want for now i'm giving this name and under here i want to save this this folder under this project okay so here you can see my project is created successfully here and uh, it's open the project structure now value structure here you can see these all things right but here you cannot see any kind of you know like metadata inside this uh, project let's say lwc objects trigger tabs you cannot see any kind of metadata here we are not connected yet into our org so first of all you have to connect with your org you have to make it one connection between the salesforce org or vs code so we can see here in the bottom in vs code this is status bar you will be see like no default org something like that one option so that option will be available here and once you clicked on that option you have to uh, set a default org and you can retrieve or you can deploy your metadata from VS Code to Salesforce. So I will show you here. It's taking some time. So just before that, uh, let me check my SF commands is available. So I'm using new SF commands. So you can upgrade your SFDX or Salesforce CLI, right? So how to do that? Let me show you here. So under here, you have to check like SF. And before that, you have to check this SF and uh, you can take some help or version. You can check like SF version. So once you press this SF version, it will be showing like a version of this SF new command. So I'm using like 2.5.8. Okay. So this is the new one. If you are trying like SFDX uh, hyphen hyphen version, same thing, these things will be available here. Like same Salesforce CLI 2.5.8. Because Salesforce already deprecated this SFDX command. If you see like SFDX automatically, this 2.5.8 showing here in both commands not like sfdx right so you can use this one but still sfdx is supported but it's a deprecated and if you type something like sfdx force colon deploy something like that any command as you have so the vs code terminal it, uh, it will be show you like some warning so instead of this command you can use this command like that okay so that is the one thing here let me clear this and here first of all you have to do one thing in the sf command we have like sf right sf and we have like force and once you press this force you will be see like salesforce logo here right 
in the you know this terminal window so no need worry about every time you have to enter like a, a colon colon something like that force colon something like that right so now immediately you can see this is a dx logo here you can see this is the dx logo i hope you can see this logo right this logo this is the salesforce logo and right now version 59.0 this is the api name right you can see this one okay so let me clear this uh, terminal and let me show you how to work on this you know like uh, real time work of the this metadata how to retrieve that that is the purpose of this video okay so please watch this video until and if you miss something here so you cannot get any kind of you know information from my side okay so once you created your project just make sure you have to check each and everything before sfdx command you have to check each and everything let's say sfv already checked and java also you can check like java version now you can see the java version node also you can check the node hyphen hyphen version right so now you can see the node version each and everything here you can check it okay so that is the one thing for you guys so this is the prerequisite you have to check these all things also you can check the git hyphen hyphen version if you have like git as well so because git is a source control system so that's why i'm checking each and every software in my machine so you can check in your machine as well because that software is prerequisite for each and every you know like lwc project or any sfdx commands okay so you have to check each and everything here so we i already installed these all software so you have to verify these things right so let me clear the console okay so now you can see no default org set right so how to work on this no default org set so first of all you have to authorize one all before retrieving or before you know like retrieving any salesforce org data metadata right so just you have to do one thing just click on this you know this no default org set and it will be showing lots of commands so you have to check so one of the minifest file you can see like package.xml but this file is contain little bit you know like uh, metadata but uh, in this video i will show you the whole metadata in just how to download or how to backup all the metadata from the salesforce but in package.xml we have limited you know metadata you can select apex class component page test trigger lightning aura bundle lightning component static resource only this kind of things right but this is not sufficient for me or you know this uh, very less metadata so how to retrieve full org metadata so you can download or you can create this all metadata using my tricks or tips right so once you press any you know this option no default org set you can authorize an org so how to authorize now let me show you here so i already authorized some org but uh, if you are new in this one so you can watch my earlier video i already uploaded how to set up salesforce or you know like vs code and how to create a scratch or dev hub org authorize org and you know like different kind of things i already discuss about it right so for now uh, i'm using this authorize an org right so just click on this one and it's asking which type of environment you have so right now i'm using like production so you can choose like pro project default this is the you know like some intelligence provided by the vs code so you have to select this one not this one if you see like this is the default one is already define this url login.salesforce.com inside this sfdx hyphen project.json file so this one and once you clicked on this file you will be see this url so just let me select this option project default and here let's say sfdx right so just enter it and here let me open my org and we can authorize here so behind the scene one command is going on and after some time it will be open a new tab for this browser and you have to log in on that particular org and you have to authorize and allow so now you can see it's asking me like logged in so let me log in this you know username and uh, let's see this is now you can see authentication successfully and you can close your browser window so just close it and once you go here in the vs code 
you can select authorize and work successfully ran and also they work you can see right you can give any name as you want so let me click on this one so you can see like they work they send box sfdx everything you can see because i already authorized this uh, you know org with the three alias name right so you can choose anyone as you want okay so don't worry about it so here you can see this they work and uh, how to retrieve all the metadata in the from the salesforce to vs code so very easy first of all let me remove this default one so in the default you can see like application or a classes all things like tabs objects lwc something like that right so let me delete this folder here okay so just once you delete it now you can see our uh, in the force force hyphen app under the main we don't have any default on something like that right you can retrieve it so how to retrieve that very simple and very easy just open your terminal under the terminal you have to you have to give uh, one command i have already mentioned here so let me copy this command it's very easy and useful okay and uh, enter it here and uh, once you give this one so before that you have to set your alias name so this command sfdx for source manifest create hyphen hyphen from org and which org uh, i have this org so that is dev org so you have to give your uh, alias name of your you know org or your project so now after that hyphen hyphen manifest name all metadata and output directory you can select manifest right so just enter this command once you executed this command you will be see lots of things right so let me execute this command here it will take some time because it's retrieving whole things right so it will be take some time so don't worry about it so now you can see some warning because of you know i'm using like sfdx you can use like sf instead of you know like sfdx so that is here you can see successfully wrote all metadata dot xml to manifest so let me open my manifest here and now you can see the all metadata right here you can see all metadata so previously in the uh, package dot xml we have some limitation or you know like some little bit metadata but in all metadata xml you can see each and everything here right you can see and let me scroll down and you will be see like line number uh, this one one two three zero and here you can see each and every or metadata in this project from the salesforce now you can see this one right so that is very useful and you can retrieve it and you can deploy it anywhere as you want okay so we already retrieve it and also you can just uh, you know if you need these kind of things so you can retrieve in the uh, this folder and you can use anywhere as you want right so let's say this is the old metadata and i want to retrieve this old metadata inside my you know salesforce but in this project uh, in this project we don't have any default lwc tabs custom object anything like custom permission permission set something like that so how to retrieve that very simple very easy so just you have to open your terminal and here we have some commands let me show you yeah so this is the command sfdx for source colon retrieve hyphen uh, x all metadata dot xml so if you want to retrieve all metadata please observe in the main folder we don't have any default or any lwc folder any kind of things right but you have to do one thing under this one uh, like uh, this command also retrieve this old metadata right so let me uh, drag and drop in the outside or uh, let me move this file in the root directory okay so once you um, make it this file in the root directory now you have to uh, execute this command sfdx source colon source retrieve and hyphen x and all metadata so you can see my file name all metadata xml same thing you can see like all metadata dot xml and please observe in the main folder we don't have any default flows or you know custom permission lwc or a apex class apex trigger right visual force page you you cannot see anywhere here right if you need that things just you have to execute this command 
and it will be take some time and you to retrieve all, all metadata from your O and in VS Code. Okay, so it will take some time. Just execute. Now you can see preparing all the things and preparing the request. And it's a SOAP API version 58.0. So just wait for one. So here it's retrieving. Now, after some time, you will be see each and every metadata inside our project. Because I already deleted like default, LWC, everything, uh, you know, like uh, metadata. So how to retrieve that? After the retrieving all metadata, we can retrieve from the all using that uh, metadata. So now this time I'm retrieving all things. So under the main, you will be see lots of things after some time. It will take time or it's based on your org save, right? So how is it your save? So based on the your org save, so it's taking some time. Main under the main, we have default and some metadata is coming now. Please observe, after some time, you will see lots of metadata. It's automatic comes here. So now, let's see. Now you can see some process is going on and it's re re retrieving all the metadata from my org into VS Code. So after some time, you will be see like this command is successfully ran. And now you, under the default, you can see Apex email notification, each and every metadata from my org, right? Like workflow rule, triggers. Once you click on trigger, you can see like lots of trigger. Also, let me open my classes if we have like opportunity classes. And also let's see any tabs or object is available like account, assets, activities, everything you can see like contact here. Okay, so you can retrieve each and every metadata like contact here. Right, so just open that one. I will show you like tabs as well. We if we have like employee HR data, you can see that this tab. Right, so this is how you can retrieve uh, all metadata uh, from your Salesforce to VS Code using that commands. And after later on, after that, you can retrieve like all metadata using that uh, all metadata XML file in VS Code and. Just you can deploy this metadata from anywhere as you want, one org to another org. That is another facilities available under the SFDX. Okay, so guys, I hope you learned something new in this video. If you feel like this is a very more informative for us, so please like, share, comments, and please hit the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So till then, bye bye, take care, see ya, thank you for watching, guys.